guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the very first day of spring cleaning week. As we all know, it is a tricky ass time in the world and I considered not doing this or, you know, postponing it out of respect, but I am of course referring to the coronavirus and just like the mad leaps it's taken over the last week even. You guys, this is future Amy. I go on a little bit of a rant about the coronavirus. Not like a rant, I'm just talking, but if you wanted to watch this video for like actually, like say it's a year later and the coronavirus is gone and you're just clicking on this to watch it, I will have a timestamp that down below you can just click and it'll take you to it. I apologize. <laughs> Between that and the rain we're having in LA, which it, like really never rains in California, but like this week it's nonstop. The apocalyptic vibes are real. I went to Ralph's the other day and I literally waited in line for an hour and a half and everything was gone. And it's just a really weird and scary time. Again, spoilers. <sighs> and a shirt that should not be on the bed. You know, I'm not taking this lightly. I did go out and stock up on some food. I didn't go crazy. People are going nuts, but I just got stuff that we would eat because we are gonna hunker down a bit and just do our part and stay home. My job is from home. I never really leave the house anyway. So if it's cool with you guys, business will continue as usual for me here. Starting with spring cleaning week. <laughs> I already had this plan to go up this week, which what that means is a new cleaning video every day this week from Monday to Friday. So you get five new cleaning, decluttering. I have some like prepping the garden cleaning videos. Well, it's just one video, <laughs> but it should be all the motivation you need to get cracking on your own home. And I figure we got nothing but time as a lot of us are just hunkering down, staying home. I know a lot of you guys are working from home or have been put off, put out of work, which is so terrible. And it's just, it's a really weird and scary time and I'm trying to be sensitive to it. But at the same time, I value YouTube and my favorite YouTubers as a way to like de-stress and distract my mind for a little bit when I am struggling with whatever. So in an effort to spread that kind of love, if you enjoy my videos or YouTube videos, I wanted to continue to, you know, upload. But I just, I thought about it for a while and I've decided to carry on. So, but please know if you, if this virus has affected you, like, actually you're sick or somebody you know is sick or you've lost your job because of it or you know I think we're all just kind of terrified. My heart is with everyone. My heart is with you and I I think positive changes are being made. More positive changes could be made but I think we are in the right direction. Disneyland closing for two weeks which in my opinion I think they're going to end up extending that. I feel like two weeks is such a long time for Disneyland to be shut but in the grand scheme of things I don't know if it will actually open back up in April, but that's, just, I don't know what I'm talking about. But just like as a Disney nerd, that is iconic and ne not iconic, but like it's history. It's never ever been done before. It's been closed three days in the past. It was either when Reagan or Kennedy was shot. I forget which one. The day after 9-11, and for a press event in 2005 other than sometimes weather events but not really Disneyland like we don't have hurricanes or you know snowstorms so like Disneyland is open all the time and the fact that it is being shut down for two weeks boggles my mind but at the same time it is the absolute right move to do Disney I'm rambling but whatever I haven't talked to anybody in a while because I haven't left the house <laughs> um, I have several friends who work for Disney and Disney is taking care of their employees which means so much and you know if you had a Disney vacation planned or a cruise like they are being more than accommodating like my friend was supposed to go on a Disney cruise Sarah be careful it is raining she was supposed to go on a cruise it got canceled they gave her 125 percent back in credit towards a different cruise so it's like they are doing their part, they have to. My first question was, well, what about my season pass? That's like two weeks that I can't go. And if you have a pass, you're wondering the same, they're extending it. They're also shutting down Disney World, which is like a huge operation in itself. So if you have a pass for either park, they're just adding on the two weeks or however long it's closed to your expiration date, which is the right thing to do. I don't even remember what I'm talking about. What an intro. Okay, so without further ado, this is a video all about my favorite household products every single thing that I use around the house. I'll warn you now, I use a lot of Young Living. Talking about Young Living on my YouTube channel always gives me such stress because I get such hate for it. And you guys, I wouldn't put up with the hate if I really truly did not. I, I never wanna lie on my channel and that's literally what I always use to clean. So I'm gonna share about it, but I do have some of my other favorite products. Not everything is Young Living, but also all the cleaning like accessories, like the vacuums, the Swiffers I use, 
Everything will be linked down below. We're gonna start this off right so that in future cleaning videos, if you wanna refer back to this, it will always be available. So yeah, I feel like I look super pale. As I said, it's so rainy and it's so dark. Like it's only 2 p.m. and it looks like it's 7 p.m. outside. So I have my lights on, try in here, but I apologize for like the blue, creepy gray darkness. I've already been filming for 10 minutes and we haven't talked about a single damn cleaning product. So here we go. Let me turn off my phone so nothing distracts me. Here we go. <laughs> So we're gonna start off first and foremost with I think just like normal cleaning because I do have like the stuff I used to do dishes, the stuff I used to do laundry, but just like for normal day-to-day -day surface cleaners, we're gonna talk that first. In which first and foremost, my Thieves Cleaner is hands down the greatest cleaner I have ever used and it's completely plant-based. Oh, my husband's home. <laughs> How's cleaning going? <laughs> I just rambled on for 10 minutes about the coronavirus. What so did you say? Right there yet. You can watch the video to right. see what I said. Just no, recap it for me right now. No. Which, by the way, Bradley's going to be home a little more because of the Rona, so we want to do joint videos. So leave us suggestions on what you'd like to see. Can you make me some sort of lunch? Sure. I'm home from work. Looks like i got to fix up my wife a lunch. <laughs> we shut the door at least. Not that door! Where was I? As I was saying, Thieves, completely plant-based, completely non-toxic. It says on the bottle, if accidentally swallowed, just drink a lot of water to dilute it. There's no poison control, there's no nothing, which I love all that. But besides that, it is hands down the greatest cleaner I've ever used and for every single surface. I do not use it on my wood furniture just because I've been burned in the past with oils on wood, but I think it's because they were crappy oils and it was specifically lemon oil. Does this have lemon in it? Yeah, it has a lemon right there. Um, I see people all the time on Instagram or YouTube use it on their wood with no problem, but it just kind of scares me. If you use it on your wood, let me know. When I first got into oils, I would put lemon oil in my oil diffuser and a drop would get on the cabinet right there there's like a bunch of wood burned like holes where like oil just ate through it so so I do avoid wood but besides that I use this on everything my marble in my kitchen my bathroom counters the mirrors stainless steel it does great at first I didn't love it on stainless steel but then Bradley used it on the stainless steel I think I just didn't I, I think clean, cleaning stainless steel takes a certain amount of like elbow grease that I just wasn't willing to give it and Bradley did so this I, I am now a believer on stainless steel like this is just literally the best and how this works this is actually the bottle it comes in but this is a thieves cleaner concentrate so this is what it actually looks like i poured it into this reusable glass jar that i have because i wanted to put it in the actual thieves jar so what you do is you take a cap full of this add it in you add in the rest with water and then what i personally do is I will take 10 drops each of pine and citrus fresh just for like a little extra scent boost but it smells really really good it smells like Christmas and that's also something fun you can do as well as kind of adjust the smell to whatever season or you know you could put peppermint Christmas spirit in there if it's Christmas eucalyptus like anything you want you could add in there which is fun so it's so cost effective and I don't know if I'm being clear but like this is the normal bottle it comes in. It doesn't have the spray bottle. I have this from an old other attachment that I just took off and put on this. So in here I have one cap full of these cleaner, the rest is with water and then the oils, but it does come in this bottle and I think it's $21. I bought it, I think eight months ago and I still have so much left. It is so cost effective and the fact that it works on my entire house is wild. I was going to make like a separate like thieves mirror cleaning spray but this is so effective it leaves no streaks that I'm like what's the point I'll just use it on everything. So I do have two bottles around the house. Here's what it like actually looks like when it's mixed up with the water. Um, this one we keep in the cabinet right here near the bathroom. This one we keep in the kitchen so we have one on either side of the apartment because we're lazy and I guess I don't know. <laughs> but yeah so I have two thieves. It's all I need to clean you guys and I've just recently switched over to this. If it was up to me, I would declutter everything else, but I do have a husband who's like, no, let's use through it, and then we'll just stick with Thieves. But when I'm cleaning, and for the most part when he's cleaning, it's Thieves all the way. It is literally so good, so yeah, Thieves. <laughs> we have some more Thieves products we'll get to later. Well, we can get to this one right now. This is the Thieves spray in just like a miniature bottle that you can keep in your purse which I like this for using on doorknobs remote controls if I'm out and about on a grocery cart you know it's just a quick little thieves disinfectant so it's just a smaller more compact version I could put in my purse love it now as far as other like multi-surface cleaners before thieves this is my absolute favorite this is the method all-purpose naturally derived surface cleaner in the lime and sea salt 
fragrance. Uh, this was my favorite one. It says cuts grease and grime. It really does, but honestly, not as good as Thieves. <laughs> Mrs. Myers and Method, which are something I'm going to be talking about a lot in this video, are more natural, but they are not like non-toxic because they do have fragrance in them. So while I am, I'm not perfect at all with, you know, trying to be more natural and all that. Cause like, I still love wearing perfume and I still light candles from time to time and stuff like that. But certain areas and products where I can ditch and switch out the fragrancy chemicals and all that, I am trying to because if I can find a solution to live without it, then great. So for cleaning and for laundry, I have really tried to eliminate the no fragrance. Thieves obviously has no fragrance. It's all just like, essential oil smells. This does have fragrance in it. It smells good, but that is just, if it's something that bothers you, know that. I do think overall these are more natural, but they are not completely natural. So know that. But I do, I did used to love the Lime and Sea Salt Natural Surface Cleaner. Bradley still loves it. Another great one, which is apparently broken. Where's the spray thing? <laughs> I don't know, but this is the Mrs. Myers Clean Day Multi-Surface Cleaner. Another great cleaner. I would, I don't even know which one I like better between the Mrs. Myers and the Method. I think they are the same. We do love this peppermint scent, which is the Christmas scent, which is the only scent we have left of this because I ordered three 2018 Christmas and I still have a ton. <laughs> but it's peppermint with a little bit of vanilla. It smells so good, but just as like a multi-surface, like the bathroom counters, the kitchen counters, this is great. So I just wanted to mention those two if you weren't into the thieves. I do love these as well. Oh, and there they go on the ground. I did mention that on my wood, I do not use the thieves cleaner and I have something else. I love this stuff, fragrance or not. This is the Method Wood for Good Daily Clean in the almond scent. So this is for your wood. I have used this for years. I used to work in a boutique in my hometown, which I totally loved. And in the evenings when I would close up the shop, it was, you know, part of my duties to clean. And we had a lot of wood furniture in there and they used this and it kind of got me addicted to it. And I've been using it literally ever since. So 10 years. It does have a strong almond scent. Now that I like, I'm not using candles or anything strongly scented, like sometimes things are like, whoa, how did I ever use that? Which is weird, but it does smell good and it leaves such a nice, just like clean, almost shiny, glossy looking surface on your wood. And I totally love it. So I've been through countless bottles of this and I just continue to buy it because I freaking love it. You guys see me use this in every single cleaning video ever. I don't have it with me because I guess I ran out, didn't buy another one, but it is the Mrs. Meyers Lemon Verbena Baking Soda Cream Cleanser, I think it is. It is literally dirt cheap. A lot of people are like, oh, you could make your own, but if you are not, you the DIY type of person to like make your own baking soda paste. This one is incredible and what we use it for, we use, mostly use it in the bathtub or the stainless steel sink. We will just take it and like generously apply it um, and then just use a sponge and just scrub, scrub, scrub and then rinse it away and then wipe it away. And it just really helps shine up and clean any surface you use it on. You could use it on your countertops, on your stove. It's just like a, a baking, you know how like you make a baking soda paste, which that's something else I do. I will, in my nasty, it gets so gross in there, my shower tracks, we have like glass doors, but it gets nasty in there. So in the shower tracks, I will put baking soda and then I will just take normal vinegar, which we have on hand all the time because Bradley uses it to like clean his, his Keurig. We use it for a bunch of different stuff, the microwave, the dishwasher. I think I have like a cleaning hacks video or something where I show some of those. I can link that up in the corner, but we will just take the, baking powder, dust it in the tracks and then pour the vinegar on top and it kind of like bubbles up. And then I'll take a toothbrush, like a just obviously not my normal toothbrush, just some old toothbrush and scrub in there and it gets it so nice and clean. So baking soda is kind of, I don't know, it makes some sort of paste that helps clean. And that lemon verbena stuff is incredible. I'll link it down below. We love it. We just don't have it right now, I guess. And then something else that, to be honest, I don't use it that much, but Bradley does. This is the Mrs. Meyers Clean Day lemon verbena surface scrub. He uses this again for the tub. It smells so good. I love the way their lemon verbena stuff smells, but um, it's non-scratching, removes grease. Compared to other products like this from like Clorox or any of those brands, like those smell harsh. I got rid of all of those. So the only like non Young Living Cleaner things we have are from Mrs. Myers and Method. I don't have anything from like Clorox or whatever else I used to use. No more Windex. And I do not miss them. I do not miss the like headache you get from those scents. So for a product like this, it's not perfectly clean, but like the smell is just much more natural and it doesn't bother me as much. So love this. Okay, so I think that's it for like cleaning, like the surfaces. So now let's move on to dishes. So I love this stuff. This is from Trader Joe's. However, there is fragrance in this. So, I, you know, like I think I've won by finding a more natural alternative, but then there's fragrance in it. Which like, 
dishes is now something that like I care about the ditch and switch because you're literally eating off of that you know so although I this literally came in the mail yesterday I have not used it yet but I ordered the thieves dish soap this we're gonna go through this so fast I bet and it's expensive so like I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to commit to this smells incredible though and that's something else about the thieves line they have a lot of different products which like I have a lot of them with me but all of them smell similar but slightly different so like this one smells a little bit more like Dijai's this is the thieves fruit and veggie soap which we'll get into that in a minute um but the laundry soap and the dish soap smell more citrusy than they do cinnamony because the thieves where did I put it the normal thieves cleaner smells very strongly of cinnamon and it has like clove it's very Christmassy but not everybody wants their like laundry and dishes to smell like that this is a much more like lighter lemony scent it smells in Incredible. So um, I haven't used this yet. So we're gonna see and also if you have an all-natural Oops, I got some soap on my shirt If you have like an all-natural alternative no fragrance preferably let me know But this does say it's plant-derived biodegradable hypoallergenic and cuts through grease Which I will say this dish soap works incredibly well. I haven't even said what it is. It's from Trader Joe's It's their citrus scent liquid dish soap. They also have I believe it's lavender, but I was like, I don't want my dishes to taste like lavender. I'm really specific about my dish soap because I hate cilantro and cilantro tastes like dish soap. So now I hate dish soap. So it's, it's a struggle, but this stuff works so, so well. It's so cheap. It's like $3. It's amazing to just throw in our cart every time we're at Trader Joe's. It does have very little ingredients. And I don't know a lot about a lot of them, but I do know Trader Joe's like doesn't use too bad of stuff in their stuff. What a grammatically correct sentence I just said. Like I, I usually trust Trader Joe's more with like preservatives and all that stuff, but this does have fragrance. But regardless of that, I love it. So, you know, I don't know. It's a work in progress, but for now I do love this and it's much better than like some of the other crap out there. And also for dishes, we have the Trader Joe's dishwasher detergent gel. They do have a Thieves one that I am eventually gonna try. We just stocked a bun this though during when I went for the apocalypse, the coronavirus. Um, just, I don't know. I didn't wanna be out of anything that we like really, really needed. So we'll use through what we have and then I will order that Thieves. I think it's a dishwashing powder. To be honest, it's hard for me to tell if I like a dish soap or not because I think our dishwasher sucks. So I don't think it's the soap's fault, but like I do like this stuff. <laughs> Smell. It smells kind of like paint to be honest, but like I don't have any complaints about this I now that I'm like trying to talk about it I don't have a hugely informed opinion on this because I think our dishwasher sucks no matter what we try But this is what we use <laughs> For other kitcheny things, I did want to mention our favorite hand soap. This is our favorite one we keep in the kitchen, but this is just our favorite hand soap all around. This is the Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Honeysuckle Scent. This is the one we normally have in the kitchen. Um, their hand soaps are amazing. They're made with olive oil and aloe vera, and it just is so not drying. I used to be hugely into Bath and Body Works, but I was never into the antibacterial like hand soaps, the foaming ones, because number one, like antibacterial isn't that great because it's killing I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know how to say it like verbatim, but I think it's killing something about in your gut that like helps your immune system fight off things. So it's killing the bad germs, but it's also killing like the good flora, I think it's called. I don't know, but I've like always known that like antibacterial is not that great for you. So I haven't really used it. I wash my hands a lot and you know, now we're all washing our hands a ton and the Mrs. Meyers hand soap is literally the best. I have a Thieves hand soap empty that I forgot to bring in here. I'll insert like a clip of it right here. Thieves foaming hand soap was nice. I don't like it as much as I like this soap, um, but it is not as drying for a foaming soap than it like other foaming soaps I've tried. And weirdly, I enjoyed the Christmas spirit foaming hand soap more than I enjoyed the Thieves. So next time it's Christmas, I'm gonna buy like five of those because I loved it and I am missing it. But I do love my Mrs. Myers one. So we usually have honeysuckle in the kitchen. We normally have lavender in the bathroom because their lavender scent is my favorite from them. We'll talk about their candles in a little bit, but their lavender scent is just like wildly amazing. It like doesn't even smell like real lavender, which it probably has fragrance. I mean, yeah, I know it has fragrance in it. This also has like, orange in it. That's why it smells so good. It just smells great. So I love their lavender scent, but what I'm really loving right now is their rose scent hand soap. It smells like real roses. I talked about this in my whatever last favorites I did, February favorites. I'll link it up in the corner. 
but it, and I said that it literally smells like you're washing your hands with rose petals. It smells so real. And like, I don't care for fake rose fragrances. This is divine. And I think it's just available for spring right now. I'm, I need to buy two more. So we have this in our bathroom currently. And with all the hand washing we're doing, I am loving it because it smells incredible. This Thieves Fruit and Veggie Soak, which if you've seen this on, I have an oils Instagram account for my Young Living stuff, just where you can message me if you have questions, because I know it can be confusing. And I just try to keep it like separated so that I don't miss any questions and yeah. But I show all the time on there my before and afters on cleaning my produce and it's always disgusting. It's a step I never used to do because I'm lazy as hell. But now that I have this and I've seen what comes off my strawberries each week, I don't skip that step. So every time I clip something from the garden, bring it in, I put it in a bowl with a little bit of this, let it sit, rinse it off, and then it's clean. So I don't have to worry about the bugs living in my garden, any dirt and grime. Um, the, I've found bugs on the strawberries I bring home. Any produce we use, I clean it in this first. So I did wanna mention that. I didn't know what category to put it in. So before we move on to like cleaning accessories, it's there. I cannot believe I've gone this far without mentioning it. And this one is dirty. Well, on the back side it's dirty, but these are my favorite microfiber cloths from Grove Collaborative. It says it right there on the little sleeve, which I love that it has this little sleeve so I can like put my fingers in there and polish certain things. So I do try to be more environmentally conscious by not using paper towels for every single surface. I do use paper towels still for the toilet because I just feel gross using something reusable and the mirrors because I feel like I can get a better streak-free situation and mostly the kitchen. So I guess I have a lot of room for improvement. But every other surface I use reusable. I used to use rags and we still have them, but they are tattered to shreds. My mom got me like a pack of six from Anthropology for like, for Christmas like years ago. Like I wanna say like 10 years ago. And I was looking into microfiber cloths, which to be honest, like the, the way they feel kind of freaks me out. I'm really weird about like velvet. <laughs> Oh, whoo, gotta recover. Oh, and don't even get me started. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> I'm not. Don't even get me started on the way magic erasers feel like I just can't even deal with it. So touching these is kind of hard for me because they, you know, but I do it because they work. But regardless of how awful they make me feel when I'm touching them, which we're done with that. They really do help like get up all the crap on your counters. They like dust it as they go. Um, so you can use it dry, you can use it wet. I really love those for using them to wipe off my um, like plant leaves. It's very important for the photosynthesis. If you have bigger plants or just pretty much any of your plants, my pothos, I always like refer to that plant and you can't see it, but like I clean off my pothoses, my monstera, my snake plants, my fiddle leaf fig. It's important to dust the plant leaves and I love using the microfiber cloths for that, the Swiffer Duster. My mother always says, I hope that whoever created Swiffer is rich. And they are, so well done. <laughs> but I love my Swiffer. So this is just the Swiffer handle. I think it's like a starter pack where you get this and three refills, and then you can just buy the refills for these. This stuff is life changing. Like I clean nothing before I Swiffer it down first. So like I'll remove everything off from a surface, wipe it up, and then go in with like the Wood For Good Cleaner or the Thieves Cleaner. So this is incredible for dusting everything. I will just, I'll dust household products. I'll dust you. Dust my camera, my tripod. I could use a dusting. And it's fun. So it's just very effective. So I have this one and then I also have the taller one. Let me demonstrate. And that's another thing, it could be at an angle. Say you're cleaning like a shelf or like a ceiling fan. This one's a little dirty. I just cleaned um, the picture frames behind you, but it, it's, it extends. So it doesn't extend that much, but it does extend. So I can reach, there's a cobweb or something. Got it. And speaking more about Swiffer, we also have a Swiffer, mm, a Swiffer sweeper. And you can have the Swiffer dry or the Swiffer wet for the Swiffer that is hard, for the Swiffer Sweeper. So here are the dry ones, and I should have brought the whole thing in here, but I didn't, but I'll show you in a close-up. So basically you can put on a dry pad, you basically lay it flat on the ground, you put the little broom thing on top of it and you poke it in. This is truly life-changing because it's so thin that you can bend it and get under like our entertainment system. It's so dusty under there every time but I have the ability to like lay it flat and just really dust under it with like vacuums I can't do. So I love that, but even like I will vacuum on like real deep clean days, like real ones. I'll vacuum, which we'll talk about my favorite vacuums in a minute. I'll vacuum, I will Swiffer dust with the broom with the dry pad and then I'll mop with the wet ones. So I love that thing. So we also have the wet ones, which I freaking I'm a mess today. I forgot to bring those in here, but I'm also looking for like, I wish it, 
was a way to make your own like mopping solution because I'd make it out of thieves. I know that there's an OXO brand mop where you can add your own solution to it, but I don't have any more room for any more vacuums, so that'll have to wait till we have more room. But um, for now, we are just buying the Swiffer wet ones and we just put that on there. To be honest, Bradley does most of the mopping because he really does a good job mopping, let me tell you. But yeah, and then as far as vacuums go, I do love my little Black & Decker lithium. I call this the duster buster, which I've said in videos before and you guys understand me. I thought that that was something only my mother said, but apparently everybody's mom says it. So this is the duster buster. Um, it's just a nice little handheld vacuum that I use for windowsills. I use it for the car if I'm wanting to clean out the car. Um, just any small messes to vacuum up the couch. It's just really handy. I had this on my wedding registry. It's pretty affordable. And my nails match it. Oh my god. What a, what a time. And then we also have two other vacuums. I got this one for the wedding, but it's the Dyson V7? V6. It's a cordless vacuum and we do have a- we love it but the charge on it doesn't last very long and I don't know if that's just an issue for ours or if it's like universal but it's kind of weird. Ours only goes for like 10 minutes and then it dies so let me know if that's normal for you. It doesn't seem normal to me. I should probably contact Dyson about that. But they have a little thing that you can screw into the wall and plug in your Dyson and it charges, which is awesome. Or you can just have it plug in normally. But it is really nice to have a vacuum that doesn't have a cord, I will say. But then we do have a corded vacuum, also a Dyson. It's the one with the big purple ball. I think it's like the animal one. I love it. I, I love Dysons. They are so effective. And I've had that, the big one, for I think also 10 years. It's been forever and it still works great. I love it. So those are our vacuums of choice. And then really quickly, I have my little laundry bin that we keep here and I will go through what we use. First of all, we, I get a lot of questions about these. We use mesh laundry bags. And one day when we have our own laundry room, I will do a laundry routine for you guys. Um, but a lot of my clothes are hang dry just so that they don't shrink and just to like preserve the longevity of them so they don't pick in the dryer. And just anything delicate, I wash in my mesh bags. So I have a ton of those. I can link this down below. They're just from Amazon. For detergent, I've talked about this a few times. We use the seventh generation powered by plants. There is no fragrance in this, which I love, but it does have a citrus scent from essential oils. This is very similar to the Thieves laundry soap, but it's much cheaper. It's not quite as clean, but it's pretty dang clean. And it smells literally so good. And Bradley and I both love it. So we've been through a bunch of bottles of these. We love it. But out of all of like the natural alternatives like Target, I think seventh generation is your best bet. And this stuff, not only it smells great, but it works really, really well. It cleans our clothes so nicely. And I love it. We do have this also from seventh generation. It's the chlorine fleet. Mm, losing the ability to talk. The chlorine free bleach. Three in one benefits. Fight stains, whitens, whites, color safe. So we just use this on our towels. We have all white towels and this is the only time we use this. I don't really know much about bleach. I just wanted like the cleanest one possible. So I got the seventh generation one. <laughs> also for linens, we will use the Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Laundry Scent Boosters. This is in lavender. Um, again, it's just packed with fragrance, but it smells so good, you guys. I love the laundry or the lavender scent. <sighs> smells so good. But these are pricey and you do have to use a lot. They're, this is $10. So like for what it is, it's pricey and you have to use a lot of it for it to be effective. So while I love it, I don't know I'd necessarily recommend it, but it does smell good. I do want to, maybe once this jar is done, I'll save this jar and um, try to make my own because it's just sea salt with fragrance, so essentially. So I can try that with essential oils and see how that goes. So yeah, but for now, I do love those. And then for drying, we just use dryer balls, which I can link them down below. I'm not gonna lie, I was a skeptic about dryer balls. I'm like, ugh, I'm gonna miss dryer sheets so much. I love the way dryer sheets smell. They make your clothes feel so soft. A lot of people said they had issues with static with wool dryer balls. I don't have any issues with static. And I, I've i heard people say like, oh, I put a couple drops of essential oil on my balls. <laughs> Man, put a couple drops of essential oils on my dryer balls. It's going to take me a while to get over that one. That was good. <sighs> but anyway. <laughs> that was such a good one. I've been inside for too long. But anyway, I put a couple drops on these. 
and they really do help my clothes smell better. I put on orange if it's like my clothes. I put lavender on for my like linens and then orange for my clothes because, and they're both very effective and most people I think would just put lavender but I don't want all my clothes to smell like the sleepy smell because Young Living's lavender literally makes me very sleepy. It's so nice. So that's just what I've been doing. I really like citrus scents if you can't tell. So I've been orange for pretty much everything and then laundry for linens. So yeah, love my balls. And then lastly, I just, I think that was it. I wanted to talk about fragrance, like scents in the home. I mostly diffuse oils, like I cut out candles. I say as I have a candle burning, which I get a lot of questions about that candle. That I got at Home Goods, so I can't help you there. But I think it's a DW Home one. I love it. I only light it for special occasions because I never want it to run out. And I guess while filming, it's a special occasion. <laughs> for the most part, I don't use candles. I diffuse oils and I literally freaking love it like i i say it all the time i feel like a little witch making up a little concoction in my diffuser i get to mix things and i instantly just like feel more calm as i'm putting them in there and then it's beautiful to look at i love the desert mist diffuser i'm a worrier and i don't have to worry about did i blow out the candle because if i left the diffuser on it'll just go off on its own so i just i love diffusing oils however if i am going to burn candles my favorite candles to use are the mrs myers soy candles my favorite scents being the lavender one and the peppermint one which i think you can only get at christmas time but it's divine Ooh, if they had one in that rose scent i would buy that i need to look into that but my go-to oil for diffusing just to smell clean in the house is citrus fresh like i love it and especially when i'm cleaning i love to fill up the diffuser like after i clean up the area and the diffuser is clean i'll fill it up put oils in it and just while I'm cleaning, like it just smells so motivating and so good. So Citrus Fresh is definitely my hands down favorite. I do love grapefruit and pine mixed together as well or just grapefruit or just pine. Like I, I have so many. So yeah, and Young Living has a lot of good deals right now on the starter kit if you wanna follow my Essentially Amy page and learn more. I also do like IGTV hauls on my orders each month of oils that I get. So if you're into the oil life, as I'm throwing them. Follow me there, but if you're not, that's why I have that separate page so you don't have to see it. And spare me your nasty comments. <laughs> but okay guys, that is it. I've literally been filming for almost an hour. This was a mess. And I hope this wasn't too much of a mess as I think it was, but I hopefully with the power of editing, it will come together nicely. But thank you guys for watching and I will see you tomorrow with, spoiler alert, but uh, well actually no, I won't spoil it because what if I mess up and I put up the wrong video, so. See you tomorrow with another cleaning video. And like I said, Monday through Friday this week, I'm cleaning. So join me here. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll have my little face. And please click the bell if you want to be notified when I upload. I have it on for my favorite YouTubers. It tells me immediately when they upload. And I get all excited, even if I can't watch it right then. But I love it. And then I'll have some videos down here you can click. And I'll have my cleaning playlist linked up there if you want more cleaning videos. I try to make them semi-regularly just for cleaning motivation. Because I personally love watching them. So, yeah. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you're doing well. You know, do your best to stay safe, healthy, and sane in this trying time we're having. But I love you. I'll see you very soon, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.